Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our previous some sessions, we have to discuss about all the important topics of database with real life examples and practical demonstrations. I have mentioned a complete database management system subject playlist link in below description box. You can share this playlist with your friends that will be beneficial for everyone. Now, in today's session, we will discuss our next important topic that is stored procedure. Let's start the session. So, first we will understand where stored procedure concept exactly used. Nowadays, each and every application, they use the concept of stored procedure. How? See. Let's take a first example related to the banking system or ATM machine. Suppose you want to withdraw a particular amount from the ATM. Now what is the procedure? First you enter your ATM card. Next you can select either it is your saving account or current account. After that you enter amount then uh, you can enter password and at the end you will get a particular amount in cash format. And also at the end you will get the receipt, right? Means there is a proper procedure. And everyone can follow the same procedure on same machine, right? So this is called as stored procedure. Means this procedure is built in in particular system, right? Let's take a next example of e-commerce system. Suppose you want to buy a particular product from the Flipkart. Now what is the procedure? You can search a particular product on Flipkart. Then you can click on add to cart option. Then buy option and do whatever the necessary payment is there, right? So person A also follow the same procedure and person B also follow the same procedure while purchasing the product. So this procedure, this logic is already built in in particular system, right? So this is called as stored procedure. Again, take the example of employee management system. Suppose you want to calculate the employee salary. So there are proper formulas, rules that have already developed in particular logical or coding format, right? And this have already built in in management system application. Same for student grade calculation. Again, you want to book a particular appointment on hospital. So everyone follow the same procedure on same hospital means a particular procedure in built in a particular system right this is called as stored procedure now as per the definition stored procedure is a pre-compiled collection of sql statements means all sql queries have pre-compiled and built in in particular system now why we use the stored procedure the first Main reason is code reusability. See, same procedure can be executed multiple times. Same procedure can follow multiple persons, right? So, by using stored procedure, they reduce the duplications of SQL code. Next, it also improve query optimization and query performance because pre-compiled collection of SQL statements. It also provides security. It also maintain consistency. Because business logic is centralized within the stored procedure. So, it is very easy to manage and update, right? So, this is the reason stored procedure is used in SQL or in database. Now, we will learn how to create stored procedure practically. Here is just a syntax how to create procedure. So, as per the syntax, create procedure procedure name begin and end and in between that there is a actual logic and actual sql statements right again there is another concept of delimiter so delimiter indicate the starting and ending point of particular procedure every sql statement end with the semicolon right so there is a confusion where is the end of particular procedure right so for that purpose we can use the delimiter concept so, you can create stored procedure two ways by using in parameters and next ways by using out parameters. So, let's execute stored procedure practically. 
so here i am taking one scenario uh, you have to create one table that is employee table with the attributes employee id name and salary right so first we will create and insert the data in table and after that we will create the stored procedure right so just uh, okay i am using here mysql workbench so i have already created the one database i am using those uh, database for uh, creating the table that is use employee 10 so just execute this line okay now after that i am creating the one table here create table and my table name is employee so i am passing the three attributes here first one is a employee id which is integer data type and it is a primary key because every employee having the unique id next one is a employee name which having varchar data type i am passing the size here 70 next one is a employee salary uh, which is decimal data type and i am passing the here size like 10 comma 2 means max 10 digit of salary is there and before two digit there is a point like float decimal format data which is called as precision value okay so i am uh, creating the table here see here our table have created so employee ten database under the table uh, there is a employee table is there right now i want to insert the record here so insert into uh, insert into table name okay now my first record is employee id 101 now employee name is parth so and employee salary is suppose 67000 right again i want to add a uh, one more record uh just a second insert into values okay 101 parth and uh, 67000 salary again i want to add one more record that is 102 and uh, employee name is suppose samir and uh, his salary is suppose 75000 again i want to add one more record that is employee id 103 uh employee name is suppose gauri and suppose salary is 45000 and one more record i will add this is the last record that is 104 employee id suppose employee name is uh, neha and the salary is suppose uh, 55000 right so i am inserting this record in table okay so records have inserted just a uh, check once that is select star from employee okay so just execute this line yes see this is our table have created now you have to perform stored procedure on this table so what is our problem statement see a company want to calculate a 10% bonus of employee whose salary is above 50000 so instead of writing the calculation repeatedly you have to create the stored procedure what is the meaning of that you have to create a one stored procedure and what is the logic behind that the employee whose salary is greater than 50000 only that employee get the 10% of bonus right so while creating stored procedure you have to mention the logic of this thing so you can't uh, manually count the salary of the employee right so for that purpose we will create the stored procedure so employee salary less than 50000 0% bonus and employee salary greater than 50000 10% bonus is there right so just create the stored procedure here so for creating the stored procedure uh, it is started with the delimiter so delimiter start and uh, delimiter end here okay 
now after that you have to create the stored procedure so syntax is create procedure and procedure name suppose my procedure name is calculate bonus calculate bonus okay this is my procedure after that begin and end is there right okay this is the end now next so what is the logic so here in between begin and end you have to apply the logic of stored procedure so you have to display employee id and employee name employee id employee name and employee salary so on salary you have to perform the condition okay so conditioning purpose so this is our first case that is case first case is there and conditioning purpose we can use the when keyword is there okay when salary greater than 50000 then uh, salary at the bonus so bonus 10 percent means 0 into 10 right and if else else salary less than 50,000 so it will get the 0 right and here you have to end the particular case that is end and whatever the new salary is there means 50,000 salary plus 10 percent bonus so this salary have saved into the new attribute which is bonus now apply this on which table from our table name is employee right so in this way you have to create the stored procedure like delimiter start and end create procedure procedure name begin and end and in between the logic of stored procedure so they continuously check the salary greater than 50,000 from employee table and only that salary they add the 10 percent bonus otherwise zero so just execute this line okay just a second see uh, particular error is there just check that in a syntax error is there uh, case in wait a minute create a procedure calculate the bonus begin select id employee name and salary uh, just a second okay now case this start is there when salary gift and salary 0 into 10 so uh, sorry 0 just a second point 10 percent bonus 10 percent means salary into 0 0.10 okay now execute this line uh, there was a syntax error in this okay so just execute this one check here our query have properly executed not or see our procedure have created now how to check this stored procedure see this is employee 10 is our database employee is our table and there is a stored procedure option see calculate bonus so this stored procedure uh, we have created on the employee table now how to check the bonus so for that purpose you have to call this particular procedure so call calculate bonus call and procedure name end with this semicolon so just execute this line okay see here employee id employee name salary and those salary is greater than 50000 only that salary 10 percent bonus have added so gauri they have a salary 45000 which is less than 50000 so their bonus is zero is there right so you can't add manually one by one in employee table so for that purpose we will use stored procedure here right this is a centralized logic so you can easily update and manage this logic in stored procedure clear 
again i will show you one more thing see so you can implement stored procedure with in and out parameters also so in parameters means what in means input you pass one input that is employee id and your table your system give you the salary of that employee that is the out parameters right let's take some another example when your university result was declared so at that time on particular website you enter your seat number so this is a in parameter and after entering seat number you will get a particular mark list soft copy of mark list right so this is the out parameters so this in and out concept also used in stored procedure see here uh, in this particular stored procedure a uh, create procedure procedure name is get employee salary 1 right and uh, there in parameter is employee id and out parameter is employee salary so what is the logic you have to check that employee id mention in table and what salary you will get that particular employee id you have to check it right suppose you need to get the salary of employee id 3 and 3 is not present in table then what it display the error right so always check the employee id present in table and employee id given as a input parameters so if this conditions are match they display the result so this is a stored procedure of in and out parameters so for calling purpose you have to pass the particular input parameter that is 2 i want get the salary of employee id 2 is there so just execute this line okay see the employee id 2 is there so this is the employee id 2 and their salary is 45000 so here i will get that particular salary right so this is a in out parameters of stored procedure so you should practice all the concept of stored procedure with uh, in out parameters and without parameters right so this is a one of the most important topic for exam purpose so you should practice it keep learning thank you